Okay, so continuing with this problem, we, we plotted our four points. And remember, from uh, the year 1990, which is negative 10, up until the year 2000, nobody had phones, smartphones. And then it kind of gradually keeps going up. And then a big spike, and then we don't know where it's going to go after that, but something like that. So that's a, a rough kind of sketch of our function. All right. So we're going to move on to 3.3 boiling water. This will be our last problem for lesson three. So it says the function F gives the temperature in degrees Fahrenheit of a pot of water on a stove t minutes after the stove is turned on. So t minutes after this, that's our x value, right? That's our independent, okay? And then the degrees Fahrenheit is going to be our y value, which is our dependent, all right? And so it says take turns with your partner. Obviously, we cannot do that, um, but you're going to explain the meaning of each statement in this situation. All right, so what this says is F, or sorry, W of zero equals 72. Now, somebody in my last class was like W times zero. Now, we're, we're used to um, the parentheses meaning multiplication, but when we're talking about function, it, this is not multiplying W by zero or W by five. This is a function, and how we say functions is W of zero, okay, equals 72. So at T minutes or zero minutes after the stove is turned on, that 72 is telling me how many degrees in Fahrenheit. So we can write the temperature when the stove was turned on was 72 degrees Fahrenheit. That zero tells me T minutes after the stove was turned on. So pretty much zero minutes is right when we turn it on. And the 72 is how many degrees Fahrenheit? So that would be 72 degrees Fahrenheit, okay? The next one says W of five is greater than W of two. Well, that, remember what's in the parentheses is our time. So we would say the temperature um, after five minutes was warmer hotter, whatever you want to use, warmer, than temperature after two minutes. We don't know the temperature in either of these, but because of its inequality statement, we know that at least the temperature after five minutes was warmer or greater or hotter than the temperature after two minutes. Okay? The next one, W of 10 equals 212. So again, the temperature after 10 minutes was exactly 212 degrees Fahrenheit. W of 12 equals W of 10. That means the temperature, the temperature was the same, because equal means the same, after 12 minutes and 10 minutes. They're the same temperature at 12 minutes and 10 minutes. W of 15 is greater than W of 30 means the temperature after 15 minutes was warmer than after 30 minutes. And finally, W of 0 is less than W of 30. The temperature when the stove um, was turned on was less than after 30 minutes. It says, if all the statements in the previous question represent the situation, sketch a possible graph of function w. Be prepared to show where each statement can be seen on the graph. Well, if we go back here, there's a couple points we definitely know of. We know this point when x is 0. We know when x is 10. And we know when x 